Students are not gonna wanna take academic risk in your class if you don't genuinely wanna get to know them and be vulnerable in front of them. It starts with relationships first. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Mr. Rose. Oh, look at you. You're having it up today, huh? My name is Daniel Jost, and I am the 2016 California Teacher of the Year. I teach social studies at Downtown Magnets High School in Los Angeles, California. Our students are bused in from various communities, interacting with different cultures, different ways of thinking, and it's just an amazing place to work with a group of students that are hungry for an education and a better life for them and their families. You're going to practice today using historical evidence effectively. Educational equity is one of the cornerstones of why I do what I do. It's giving kids what they need in order to be successful. Students are coming from dramatically different places that make it a little bit more challenging for them to be as successful as they can be. They're gonna describe documents, quote documents, without linking them back to the thesis. I think you have to be creative in how you're engaging students. We are doing a variety of instructional strategies. So if you're not very good at a lecture format, but you excel in a small group setting, students have multiple opportunities to refine skills that they're weak at and demonstrate that they're learning. Federalists, remember, are still controlling the court. As a history teacher, you've got to bring in things that are relevant to the kids. So always thinking, how can I bring in multiple different ways of learning? And these three were some of the earliest civil rights leaders of the early 20th century. You have to constantly be reflecting on what's working and what's not. You're physically engaged, you're emotionally engaged, and you're mentally engaged. And I think you have to be if you want to be good. Because this is a, a broad claim. But for me, there's not enough minutes in the day. If I'm gonna be able to reach them, I'm gonna to have to find ways outside our class time to even the playing field. I started a YouTube channel because students were struggling. I started creating video content that would break down historical concepts, recording it late at night, posting it up, and it just started really blowing up. Not just my students using it, but teachers and students from around the world. This event is by far one of the most significant events in this period and it's going to have huge consequences for the years to come. I think community is important to every part of education. In my classroom, I need to create opportunities so students are going to take a risk, and they're only gonna do that if they feel like we are a group of like-minded people. It's a blessing to be able to do this job and to see students go off and do amazing things. When I see a teacher that's been doing it for 20 years and they're still doing it at a high level, I'm just like, I want to be like you. I'm only in year 13, I got a long way to go. 